All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Wahabar Chakwadash, which Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and the Rachakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach you on the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And today I want to get into an impromptu lesson that's based on some thoughts that I had while taking my break from work. And I was thinking about how you have people such as Vocab Malone, you know, these Christians, you know, these Muslims, so on and so forth. And how they don't want us Israelites, which that consists of you so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans... And just a side note, we do have some of our people that actually look like the heathens. And that's due to the fact that our men mixed and mingled with the heathen women. All right. The point being, though, is they don't want us Israelites to wake up to our true nationality. And also not only wake up to who we are, except, you know, who we are. All right. And, you know, it's a, uh, it's a battle that can't be won. Okay, they, they, they won't be uh, able to win, you know, because Yahweh Shai, before the earth was even created, as the scriptures say, what, before the foundations of the earth, these things were already planned out. And in these latter times, the Israelites were to wake up to who uh, uh, they were, okay, or who they are, all right? You see? This whole um, great awakening was already predestinated uh, for it to happen. And no matter what they try to do, it's going to be unsuccessful. At the end of the day, the elect of the nation of Israel is going to get the big W. And then the rest of our people as a whole are going to get the big W. Okay? You see? That's the uh, story that the Lord uh, has already made. And you can't alter it no matter how much you try. Okay? And you see, that's what's really upsetting, you know, those that don't believe. And in particular, you know, these, uh, uh, you know, Edomites. Okay? And that's because they're on the losing side. Like I said in the uh, last live stream that I had uh, done with the brothers, okay? Because I was mentioning vocab, you know, that's what our lesson w was based on, you know? And um, I mentioned how if I were an Edomite-like vocab, I would be doing the exact same thing, okay? You see? You know, and the reason why is because... He, you know, I would be on the losing side. You see? So it makes sense why he's doing the things that he's doing. But, like I said, it's going to be unsuccessful. All right, but uh, let's start off with this uh, Ezekiel 37. I'm going to start at 1 and let's see where the Spirit takes us. All right, but we'll start here. This is Ezekiel 37 and 1 and it reads, The hand of the Lord, Yahweh, was upon me and carried me out in the Spirit of the Lord and this is uh, Ezekiel speaking. And set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of dry, so like, which was full of bones. And I'm going to keep reading. It says, and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley. And lo, they were very dry. Okay. And that's not talking about actual dead people. This is talking about. How our people are spiritually dead. Alright. And when you see. And I'll say this. When you think of some something dead. You think about. You know. A corpse that's rotting. Alright. Or has already rotted. And you see what? The bones. Right. Let me get this real quick. To back up a, a statement. That I just uh, uh, made. Um. Give me one second. This is uh, Proverbs 21 and 16, and it reads here. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding 
shall remain in the congregation of the dead. And you see, when you stop following the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, you remain in the congregation of the dead. And that's the majority of our people right now. I'll say this even us uh, who are in this truth, we were a part. Uh, of those uh, dead bodies at one point But then the Lord Through the spirit and power Of Yahweh Bashim Shai, Alright You know the Lord had that, that mercy And that compassion on, on us And he uh, allowed us To become alive again You see And it's actually going to get into it If I'm not mistaken In, the, in this Ezekiel let's, uh, let's go back to the Ezekiel now this is uh, back in Ezekiel chapter 37. And um, I'm going to read two again because I want to make a quick point. Um, and it says, And caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. All right? And that valley is actually talking about America. Okay? This is uh, Psalms 23. And uh, I'll start at 1. The Lord Yahweh is my shepherd, I shall not want. And that word want goes into not lacking anything. Okay? And in particular, what? This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Okay? Let's keep reading. Verse 2. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still water. Alright? And that, that water represents what? This, uh, uh, this truth. A hey, by us... Returning to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, now we're hydrated. Okay, you know water is a uh, a necessity in this life. You need uh, and I'll say this: you need lots of it in order to live. Okay, and see, and the Lord has uh, given us that, and we're not going to, you know, and I'll say this: we're not those dry bones anymore. You see, let's keep reading. He restoreth my soul. You see, the Lord has restored us. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. And this is talking about America. Okay? And how do we know this is the uh, uh, valley of the shadow of death? No matter what angle you, know, you come at, Everything in America leads to uh, some type of corruption and destruction. Okay? Look, the water's tainted. The food's tainted. The air's tainted. The women are tainted. The money's tainted. Okay? The, 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 uh, uh, the media's tainted. You know, you, we could keep going on and on and on. Alright? And the main thing is, if you follow this place, it leads to a downfall. Because... This is a present evil, wicked world that promotes rebellion, okay? And if you rebel against the Most High, that means you're going to sin, okay? Meaning that you're going to break the laws of the Heavenly Father. And if you sin, it says what? The wages of sin is death. You see? It leads to your destruction. Alright? And that's what this place promotes. And just a, a side note about a valley, if you don't know, a valley is a very low point, okay, in the land, you know, and that's what America is, it, it, it's the lowest of lows, this place is, is, is spiritually and morally the lowest place you can be at, because I'll say this, even though I'll, you know, it may have um, some dainties, Physically speaking, right? You know, it has a lot of food here. Okay? You know, you can get water easily, clothes, so on and so forth. But it's spiritually low, though. Okay? See, in these other countries, they may not have, you know, all these, you know, resources in abundance. But they have, you know, some type of moral standard. They, um... You know, have a, 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 a nuclear household that consists of a father, a mother, children. The father does masculine things. The, 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 the mother does feminine things. 
The children are learning. They're in order. Okay? They're taught to respect, uh, 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 you know, their family, those around them, their community. You know what I'm saying? All right? It's actually better to live in these places than here. Hey, the food is a, a higher quality. You know, you can actually, you know, go, you know, go through uh, 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 these, you know, towns and actually uh, pick fruit from a tree, you know, and it's not tainted. You'll pick a, a apple from these different uh, areas and actually find seeds in them, you know. And that's just, you know, the just a few things. You know to name but we could keep going on but you know we'll, we're gonna get back to this lesson but let's keep reading for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies you see the lord he's got this spiritual table the spiritual buffet that's you know set up for us and all these heathens are, are, are seeing it and we're eating spiritually we're getting fed well. And that's making them upset. Because now we're getting our strength back. We're revived. We're restored. And you see with that being said. That's a threat to them. And this is why they're coming up against. This truth so hard. Okay. But there's nothing they can do about it. There is nothing they can do about it. This is prophecy. That's uh, uh, happening in real time. You see. Let's keep reading. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. And that oil, of course, represents this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. The Lord has, has blessed us. You see? Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me in all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord, Yahweh, forever. And that's what's uh, uh, happening for the elect. Okay? The Lord's uh, showing us mercy. He's taking care of us. He, he's allowing us to dwell in, in, in his house. You know, spiritually speaking. Okay. And we're getting the big W. Because of that. And this is why the heathens are mad. You know. Because this doesn't benefit them. Us waking up does not. Uh, 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 progress their society. Okay. Okay. It's actually destroying it. And this is why you see so much chaos in this world. You know? Because the Israelites are waking up. And now the Lord's fighting for us. And you're starting to see a power shift. Because what does the scripture say in the wisdom of Solomon 6? Wisdom bringeth, you know, uh, uh, to a kingdom. See, we're getting this wisdom. And now you're starting to see the collapse of this one. Which is a beautiful thing. Alright. But let's keep reading. This is back in Ezekiel 37. And we'll read 3 now. And he said unto me. Son of man. Can these bones live? And I answered. O Lord Yahweh, Thou knowest. Again he said unto me. Prophesy upon these bones. And say unto them. O ye dry bones. Hear the word of the Lord Yahweh. Okay. And that's what we're doing. Okay. As men of the Lord. The Lord has set up his prophets, his men, to preach the word. So they can what? Wake up. This is Second Ezra 15 and 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. You see, the Lord put these words in our mouth so we could speak it to the people. Okay? So they can wake up. And so everything that the Lord has said. Okay. It, 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 it's it, it's going to be done. You know. Because this is a prophecy. This had to come to pass. Okay. You know, let me keep reading. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let, the, let not the incredulity, incredulity. Meaning the unbelief of them trouble thee. That speak against thee. So you're not supposed to fear these you know, individuals that come up against us. And why is that? 
For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. These people are going to die. You see? They're going to suffer. They're going to go through the, you know, the great tribulation. And take that, 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 that big L. Like Vocab Malone. Like I told him. Because he was on our comment board the whole time. When we were teaching. And I told him. I said, bro, you are not going to make, uh, make it out of here. The elites are not going to save you. You are going to get caught up in this thermonuclear destruction. You know? He's going to uh, 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 deal with the wrath of Yahweh Hashem Shai. And he's a two-time loser because he's going he's gonna to have to deal with the destruction that's here in America. Then he's going to be reborn back in, you know, uh, 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 he's going to be reborn and he's going to see us in the kingdom. And we're going to have fun with him, best believe. It's not going to be a good time for him. You see? He's going to have to deal with his judgment. All right? So don't let these people bother you. doesn't matter who they are. But let's keep uh, reading. This is um back in uh, Ezekiel 37 and uh, 5 now. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh. Um, unto, thus saith the Lord Yahweh unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. All right? And, and let's get that breath. What is that breath? Okay? This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 25. For she, and that's wisdom. And you know what? Let me just read 24. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 24. For wisdom is more moving than any motion. She passeth all, passeth and goeth through all things by reason of her pureness. For she is the pure breath of the power of the Most High. You see, that's what the uh, that breath is. It's this wisdom. And it says here, and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty, therefore can no defiled thing fall into her. All right. Hey, nothing can tank this uh, wisdom. And if you have a malicious soul, you'll never be able to obtain it. Which that's the majority of this world. This is why people like vocab can't get this. Or why they come up against it. Because I'll say this. Like I said uh, in the lesson. I believe vocab knows what we're saying is the truth. Because you got to remember, you know, he sits down. He studies. He goes over what we're saying. He listens to, you know, uh, starting with the apostles on down. But like I said in, in that lesson yesterday, he's just willingly ignorant. He knows what we're saying is on point. But he's set up, you know, he's a set up opposition to come against us. You know, he's getting that paycheck. You got to remember that. These elites, okay, set him up to fight this truth. You no, know, he's on the payroll. So he's not going to stop, even though he knows what we're saying is on point. And then deep down inside, he knows, you know, th this is the truth. And he's scared. That's what it really comes down to. He's actually scared. You know? He's scared. But he'll never be able to 100% come into this truth because he's a heathen. He'll never uh, understand these, you know... Deep, dark, you know, uh, sayings, these parables. He'll never be able to flow through the scriptures like we uh, do. All right. And that's because he doesn't have the spirit. You know, we, we we got it. They don't remember that. OK. Now, uh, let's go back to the Ezekiel 37. All right. Because we're going to finish it out. It's a heavy uh, chapter. This is Ezekiel chapter 37. Go back to Ezekiel 37. And uh, we were at... We'll read 5 again. It says here, this is Ezekiel 37 and 5. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and bring flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, 
and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh. And just so you brothers know, the skin part is basically knowing that you're an Israelite. You have your identity now, you know, your skin, okay? And those sinews, that goes back to, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that goes back into like ligaments and all that. And um, that goes into basically, which I'll say this, like the ligaments in your body, it uh, uh, basically makes everything uh, attached one to another, you know, the different body parts. That's going into the, the, the law, statutes, and commandments, okay? You know? And that 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 will that that makes you that that um that starts making you what whole again, all right? Because y'all say this, you have a lot of guys, you know, they may know that they're an Israelite, you know, they have the skin, but they don't practice the law, statutes, and commandments, okay? But then I'll say this: you got guys who know who they are that practice the law, statutes, and commandments, but they ultimately don't have the 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 that wisdom, which is the breath part, you know. Because the Lord doesn't give everybody, uh, you know, the whole package. And that's scary. That's why if you do have it, hey, you, you got to remain humble. Hey, the scriptures say what? The greater thou art, the more humble thou shalt be. Because it's a serious thing. Because the Lord can strip that spirit from you. And next thing you know, you're, you're through. You see? All right? You got to have it all. You can't just have one thing or two things. You got to have the... You know, the, uh, the the triple threat. You know what I mean? You see? Because I'll say this. It's funny. Even uh, with, with uh, uh, you know, vocab and these other, you know, you know, I guess you say Christian groups and Muslims or whatever. They don't really care about IUIC, you know? And why is that? Because they don't speak about Yahweh Shemal Shai. They don't really go into the deep things of the scriptures, you know? If you notice, everybody comes up against whom? GMS. And those that are, you know, like-minded. You know, who are following the doctrines, or the doctrine, excuse me, um, of Yahweh Bashim al Shai that's preached through the, 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 the prophets, starting with, you know, the apostles on down. You see? They come up against us, because we got the whole package. They really come up against us. They, hey, we're, we're the main threat. All right? But let me keep reading. This is uh, Ezekiel 37 and 7. So I prophesied and as I was com as I was commanded and as I prophesied, there was noise and behold, a shaking and the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Then said un he unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy son of man and say to the wind, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, come from the four winds, O breath and breathe upon these slain that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me and the breath came unto them and they lived and stood upon their feet an exceeding great army. You see, and that's what we're seeing now. And let me get on um, these last two scriptures and I'll end this lesson. We're going to hop into wisdom of Solomon five and one. It says here, then Shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted them? And we're able to do that now because Yahweh Bashim al Shai gave us that, 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 that package, you know? All right, we got the, you know, the, the sinews, all right, to connect the bones, got the skin, you know, and we got the breath of life. Now we're able to, to, to stand up. Wait, we're, we're a, a living creature again, you see? And it says, and made no account of his labors. When they shall see it, and, and that uh, they is talking about these Edomites to the heathens, and also even two-thirds of our people, because they're actually against this, you know? Let's keep reading. When they shall see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear, and shall be amazed. And you see, they have that ter terrible fear, okay? You see it. These people are scared of w w w what's happening, because it's a spiritual thing. You know, we're not, you know, out there with guns. We're not trying to fight people. You know, we're not trying to, you know, buy people with money. We're coming in through the spirit and we're rebuking this wicked society 
And these people uh, are nervous because what we're saying is coming to pass. Things are happening in this earth. See, they, they, they uh, you know, uh, 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 that God in JC that they learned in the Christian church isn't what the Bible says. And they're starting to learn that. And it's making them afraid. You see? And it says, when they shall see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. And they, they, that, that's going to come to pass very soon. Okay? And that's when uh, uh, we get saved out of this place. All right? And uh, let's uh, end it off with this. This is uh, Revelation 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. And like I mentioned earlier, that's talking about uh, uh, spiritual dead bodies, not physical dead bodies, okay? Which uh, in that great city, which is Babylon the Great, which yeah, the book of Revelation talks about how Babylon is that great city, okay? Like I said, which is America. And the reason why we know that this is America is because of this part, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. And it's it, that that's an easy breakdown. Why is this place called Sodom? The alphabet community. We know what's up. They were doing that in the ancient world. And they're doing it now. But I'll say this. They're actually going above and beyond. They're doing it uh, 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 bigger and better, so to speak, than Sodom. You see? And of course, this place is called Egypt because of, uh, I'll say several reasons. One, because the, 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 the children of Israel are in captivity here, like how we were in ancient Egypt. Two, this place um, promotes Egyptian ideologies. There's a lot of cities that are actually named, uh, uh, named after Egypt, uh, or Egyptian cities. And three, it, it, ancient Egypt practiced all sorts of... Uh, uh, Sexual deviancies Like how they do out here You see Let's keep reading Where also our Lord was crucified And it's not physically uh, uh, Talking about It's not talking about like a physical uh, 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 um, Physically uh, you know, uh, Crucifying the Lord here It's talking about, uh, uh, about it spiritually You know By putting up that false image Okay that JC image, and we know what what, what it is. All right, let's keep reading. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, meaning three hundred and fifty years, where the Israelites completely lost their you know identity, their their heritage. That backs up the prophecy in Jeremiah. I think it's seventeen and four. How we're gonna discontinue from our heritage? All right, and it says. And shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them. Talking about these other nations. And make merry and shall, and shall send gifts one to another. And we were those main gifts. During the time of slavery. We're going from one part of the earth to another. You know. You know they. <laughs> these other nations were you know. Trading us for, you know, different uh, precious materials. See? We were just commodity. And still are. Let's keep reading. Because these two gifts, or it's like, because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt upon, the, that dwelt on the earth. Talking about the two kingdoms, alright, of the nation of Israel. You got the, the southern kingdom, the kingdom of Judah, and the northern kingdom, the kingdom of Israel. Those are the two prophets. All right, that's what that represents. Let me keep reading. Verse 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Because once we wake up, that means their end is nigh. All right? And that's what they're experiencing right now. They're seeing you know, us waking up. And they're seeing their kingdom fall right before them. All right. So that's why they're, they're, they're fighting this thing so much. 
Because they don't want the house of David to be, you know, uh, 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 built again. As in the days of old. All right. And what I mean by that is that I'm talking about that spiritual house, that spiritual third temple that's being, you know, created and being, you know, erected as we speak. Okay. But, um, you know, I'm going to end this lesson. You know, uh, hopefully it was an edifying one to whomever may be listening. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto you. How about Shimei Al Shai? Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all your brothers out there. Shalom.